Hello beautiful people out there, it's your boy Ovi Mark and you're welcome to Artified Optimist. So today let's quickly look at some uh, very important news, make it rounds in Nigeria. Um, let's look at some news about Amotekun. Okay, so let's take this one. This one was, uh, this one has been out for some days now, but there is something I want to go. I want you to see through this news then I'll take you to a recent news about Amotekun. Okay, now Amotekun bill scales through second reading at Oyo Assembly. This news was uh, reported by the Vanguard and it says the Oyo State Security Network Agency and Amotekun calls bill on Thursday scales, scales through second reading at the floor of the State Assembly. The speaker, Adebo Ogundui, said the lawmakers had expected the bill to have come earlier. The majority leader, S.A. Onaulakbo, who moved the motion, said the bill was to assist in maintaining law and order in the state and for other matters connected to it. Recall that the Child Sexual Offenses Bill 2019 also passed through second reading. So there you have it. Uh, guys uh, the Amotekun bill is finally making headway so it scales through second reading at your assembly this news broke about two days ago and um, let's go I think I have another news about um, Amotekun the progress it has made so far okay so there we are this one is from this day it says finally Southwest governors IG meet adopt our tech home. the governors of the southwest the inspector general of police mr mohammed adamu and state police commissioners in the region yesterday met behind closed doors in lagos to forge a consensus on the regional security outfit amotech being promoted by the six states in the geopolitical zone the meeting which held at the Lagos House Ikeja followed the plans by the governors to domesticate the operations of the Southwest Security Initiative, codenamed Operation Amotekun, in their various states. At the end of the meeting, the police rallied behind the governors to ensure the takeoff of Amotekun. Also, yesterday, a bill seeking the establishment of the Ekiti State Security Network Agency. An Amotekun course passed through first and second readings at the State House of Assembly in Adoikiti. The news agency of Nigeria reported that the governor's meeting with the police top chiefs, which was hosted by Lagos State Governor Mr. Babajidi Sawolu, was attended by Chairman of the Southwest Governors Forum Mr. Rotimi Akere Dolu, heads of other security outfits in the six southwest states attorney generals and commissioners for justice traditional rulers and community development committee representatives the governors of Oyo, ogu oshun and the kitty states were represented at the closed door meeting by their deputies rauf olanio noimot oyedeli benedict alabi and bc Igbeyemi, respectively Akira Dolu told reporters after the meeting that it was time to deploy community policing because of the peculiarity of every state as it was done in advanced countries. According to him, there is need to embrace community policing because of numerous security challenges which have overstretched the conventional police. The IG, on his part, said community policing had to come from the public and not just from the police. Adamu commended the Lagos state government for the structure put in place in policing the residents and urged other states in the region to emulate Lagos. Sawun Lu said he was happy that the conversation around community policing started from Lagos and the southwest. However, a statement later issued by the Chief Press Secretary to Samuel Ulu, Mr. Boyega Akosile, said the governors and IG ratified the decision to set up Amotekun. 
The statement added that the IG substantiated Akere Dolu's claim, saying the participants at the meeting had fine-tuned Operation Amotekun and adopted it to be state-led initiative and not regional. The statement quoted the IG as saying that this is the second meeting we have held with the governors of the Southwest region concerning the creation of Operation Amotekun. The just concluded meeting was to discuss and fine tune Amotekun. Our conclusion is what the chairman of Southwest Governors Forum has explained. Amotekun is not a regional security outfit. Every state has one form of security arrangement, whether it is vigilante or neighborhood watch that are working security agencies in the states to fight crime. Amoteco is not different from these initiatives. We have agreed that community policing strategy be infused into the Amoteco structure so that policing will be the initiative of the community members. Adamu said the police would be part of the recruitment, training and deployment of personnel to be assigned for Amoteco operations, adding that the initiative would complement the community policing model. The IG stated that policing must start with the public and urge people to unite and form an allegiance against criminals in their communities. He said the police will support the residents' effort to keep their communities safe, but added any decisions to be taken must come from the public. The IG praised the Lagos government for adopting a community-led policing arrangement saying Lagos remained an example where a good structure of community policing had been effective. The Amotekun bill passes second readings in Ekiti. Meanwhile, the bill seeking for the establishment of the Ekiti State Security Network Agency and Amotekun Corps has passed through first and second readings at the State House of Assembly. The bill has also been committed to the House Committee on Security chaired by Honorable Latif Akonle, representing Ekiti East Constituency 2 for scrutiny. The State Executive Council had on Wednesday adopted the draft bill of the proposed law as a document of the state after exhaustive deliberation at its weekly meeting before transmitting it to the legislative for passage into law. At the plenary of the House yesterday, where exhaustive debate was carried out, it was a unanimous agreement that every Nigeria has right to life in line with Section 33 of the 1999 Constitution as espoused by Section 4, Subsection C of the Amotekun Bill, which emphasized protection of lives and property as primary responsibility of the security outfit. The Speaker Honorable Fumi, Fumini Afuye said the House would not violate the rules and standing order in quest to record the bill expeditious passage. Indications that the bill will be passed into law today came to the fore on the floor as the Speaker directed the Majority Leader Honorable Boyega Ari Bisogon, who had earlier moved the motion for adjournment to Tuesday to amend the motion for adjournment to today. The Speaker charged the committee to be painstaking in the passage, saying, We all know that internal and external migrations have caused banditry, kidnappings, robbery, and insurgency in some African nations, Nigeria inclusive, and solution to it by law is protection of lives and property. Now, in his submission, the Deputy Speaker of the House, Honorable Hakim Jamiu, said the increasing act of terrorism by Boko Haram in Nigeria, headsmen attacks and kidnappings had overwhelmed the conventional security agencies and that it was time for states to look inwards. The high level of displacement and migration from war-torn regions, robbery, kidnappings, headsmen, farmers clashes, insurgency and ter terrorism had made things difficult for our conventional security architecture, he said. All right, so um, guys, we can see that um, Amotekun is on his way to seeing the uh, broad daylight. So uh, the headline, as it reads, finally, Southwest Governors IG Meet adopt Amotekun. This news uh, kind of gladdened my heart because um, 
Damotekin was at first seen as a, 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 a threat to national security because a whole lot of people, especially some people from the north, believe that Amotekon will be used by uh, the southwestern region as a means or a tool for breaking out from Nigeria, from Sesidi. But here we are, the police, the IG, have uh, authoritatively met with the southwest governors who brought the Amotekon initiative and the police have suggested that they want to be involved in, in the whole Amoteku matter, stressing that it should not be given a, a regional insight, it should not be looked at as a regional outfit. Instead, it should be given a, 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 a community backing. That is, it should be like in the form of a controlled from the state. All right, so with this development, the police will be strictly involved with uh, the Amotekun operation. As a matter of fact, according to this meeting held, Amotekun is going to be the, both the recruiting proce re recruiting process and uh, the well-being of Amotekun staff all will be handled or will go through the police. And the IG has stated here that uh, the intent for the outfit to be community-based. And he says Amotekun is not just a, an outfit for a particular region. And it states that every state in the country seems to have some kind of community policing. So the Southwest should not be any different. So Amotekun will be like a, a community based uh, policing in which uh, members of Amotekun would have direct links or know uh, people in the society and be able to have direct trace to criminals. Who are perpetrating evil in the society and right here the ig made a, a statement that really touched me he said the enormous nature of our community of our society of our state of our country is beginning to overwhelm the police so the police has his hand over field his hands are filled up right now so the police is even looking for extra community effort extra effort like Amoteko. So Amoteko is really going to be structured and uh, the bill that would enhance or legally empower Amoteko is currently under review. So uh, in Oyo, like we saw earlier in this news, uh, the bill has passed through second reading. So here we are at the Kiti, the, the bill has also passed through second reading and here the IG and the Southwest governors have all met and they've agreed to make Amotekun uh, a, a community effort based and not just a, a regional theme. News, this part of the news is also from the nation. So Ekiti Assembly passes Amotekun bill into law. By the way, for those who are not aware, Amotekun means uh, tiger, I think. Yes, tiger. The Ekiti State House of Assembly on Friday passed the bill for the establishment of the State Security Network Agency, otherwise called Ambotekon Corps. This decision followed the presentation of the report of the House Committee on Security and Special Duties at the plenary. The bill will now be transmitted to Governor Kayede Fayemi for his assent. The Oyo State House of Assembly plans to table its own version of the bill before the public for their input before taking a final decision. The Ikiti Bill provides for collaboration between the Corps and the police as well as other security agencies for the purpose of maintaining law and order in the state. The bill had, on Thursday, scaled through the first and second readings during an extensive deliberation on the floor of the House. After the draft bill was transmitted by Governor Fayemi to the House, it was subsequently committed to the Committee of the House on Security and Special Duties headed by lawmaker representing Ekiti East Constituency 2, Honorable Latif Akonle, who conducted a public hearing which was attended by traditional rulers, farmers, drivers, driver unions, and other stakeholders on Thursday evening. Presenting the report on the floor of the House yesterday, Akonle said certain sections of the bill were considerably considerably amended to suit the peculiarities and uniqueness of the people of the state. The governing board of the Corps will be headed by a retired law enforcement agent who should be a man of proven integrity or equivalent 
in the Nigerian Army, not below the rank of Major General. And this section generated extensive debate with the Deputy Speaker, Honorable Hakim Jamil and Honorable Adeoye Ari Bashoye, asking that a retired military officer with a lower rank should head the board of the cause. The Leader of Government Business, Honorable Boyega Ari B. Shogun, said with the passage, the state had again exhibited leadership by example and uh, pace setting feature in the southwest. In his remarks, the Speaker, Honorable Fumini Afuye, said the House had fulfilled its fundamental responsibility of making people oriented laws that would guarantee adequate protection of lives and property of the people of the state. Afuye expressed optimism that the bill, when signed into law, would stem the tide of kidnapping, banditry, armed robbery, and all the manifestation of criminalities that have continued to constitute hindrances to people's normal social and economic life. On some amendments being sought to the final copy by members, Afuye said, you can't get a perfect law anywhere, and if you pass a law and if it becomes problematic tomorrow, then, then the mechanism of amendment will set in. Oyoto Table Bill for Public Hearing The Oyo State version of the bill passed through the first and second readings on Thursday, but will now be taken to the people of the state at a public hearing for their input. The bill, Christian Oyo State Security Network Agency and Amotekun Calls Bill 2020, is being sponsored by the House Majority Leader, Mr. Sanjo Adedoyi. Speaker Adebo Ogundoni explained that the essence of subjecting the bill to public hearing is to get more ideas from stakeholders with a view to ensuring that Amboteco Corps' operations in the state are guided by a holistic law. According to the provisions of the draft bill, the Amboteco Corps will have power to undertake day and night patrol on land and water, disarmed unauthorized persons in possession of arms, and other dangerous weapons, render prompt assistance to crime and accident victims, give report of suspicious activities, and undertake joint operations with the police and other security agencies. Undo Assembly on recess. A similar bill is yet to be acted upon by the Undo State House of Assembly, which is currently on recess. But the Chairman, House Committee on Information, Honorable Benga Omole said he is in constant touch with Speaker David Oleyo Logun on the submission of the draft bill on the security outfit. However, Omole said the State Assembly will still examine the grey areas in the bill as soon as it is sent to the House for consideration. Ogun Assembly working on the bill. Ogun State did not meet up with the yesterday deadline for the signing into law of the Amotekun bill which seeks to provide for a law for the establishment of Motekun cause in the state. The state governor, Dakbo Abiodun, forwarded the bill to the State House of Assembly on Wednesday after an extensive deliberation on it a day earlier at the state's execution meeting chaired by Abiodun. The House of Assembly, presided over by Speaker Kunle Olomo on Thursday, acknowledged the receipt of a correspondence from the governor conveying the proposed bill. The Assembly said it would harness the views of the citizenry and necessary stakeholders in the legislative process of ensuring the speedy passage of the bill into law. Oshu Assembly receives draft bill. The Oshu State Governor, Mr. Boyega Oyetola, finally presented the draft bill of the State Security Network Agency and Amotekun Court before the State of House of, before the State House of Assembly yesterday morning. A source within the assembly not authorized to speak on the matter disclosed that the clerk, who is the administrative head of legislature, received a hard copy of the draft bill yesterday. According to him, members of the assembly on recess till, Feb till February will be copied to study and understand the bill before it will be formally introduced to them. He added that the bill must undergo first and second readings on the floor of the House with contributions from members and as well be introduced for public hearing to allow inputs of the members of the society in the process. The Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Mr. Ismail Omi Pidon, on Thursday night said the Executive Council had endorsed the bill. Now, so there we are people, the Amatekun bill is really getting some headway. So, so far, 
you can see that some of the states in some of the southwestern state the bill has passed through the first and second reading and uh, it has uh, actually received uh, uh, output from their various state governors and even members of the com community have been invited to deliberate and contribute to the content of the law. You know, I'm so impressed with this because the members of the community are being incorporated into this matter. So the members of the community are contributing to this very law. So in the end, we're going to have a very fat, you know, bill <coughs> or law after it has been passed. So we can see that the Ogun state of all the southwestern states, we can see that uh, uh, Oshun Assembly has received the draft bill. Uh, Ogun Assembly is uh, currently working on the bill. Ondo Assembly is on recess, so uh, probably when they resume, they're going to work more on the bill. Uh, or your state is going to table the bill for public reading because it has passed through the first and second reading, so it's going to be tabled for public uh, hearing. Um, when this is done, the Motekun bill is going to become a law soon, and it's going to be a community-driven law. Uh, the Amatekan is going to be working closely with the police and other security agencies to foster peace in the area. According to this report, the Amatekan outfit is going to have a uh, power to disarm people who are in uh, illegal possession of arms they're going to be operating both on land on waters okay and uh, their major role is going to be complementing the police assisting the police in tackling and curbing crime and uh, capturing or rendering criminals powerless in the southwestern region. For me, I think Amotekun is a welcome development with the rise in banditry, uh, criminality, robbery, and all sorts in the, in the country and in the southwestern region. I think Amotekun is a welcome development. So guys, it's still artified up to me. This is your boy Ovi Mark. I'm definitely going to keep you posted on uh, this Amotekun issue. Um, if you're new to the channel, please quickly subscribe to the channel you can subscribe to the channel using the red subscribe button just below this video you can also subscribe later on at the end of this video you're going to see an icon with my head in it please click that button to subscribe and if you like this video please click the like button and also share the video and also please do click the bell notification icon just beside the subscribe button below this video to get notified every time i drop new videos and don't forget to drop a comment Thanks for sticking around. Thanks for supporting Artified Ultimates.